from Millville, New Jersey, and reaching around the world. New Life World Outreach Ministries presents His Word of Power with Pastor Richard F. Myers. Join us in a time of joyful worship, anointed ministry, and dynamic preaching from one of our Sunday morning worship services. It happens here on His Word of Power. Because everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me And everyone needs forgiveness The kindness of the Savior The hope of nations Oh Savior, He can move the mountains my God is mighty to save, He is mighty to save forever. The author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me So take me as you find me All my fears and failures Fill my life again I give my life to follow Everything I believe in Oh now I surrender Savior, Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Forever, the author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Come on, Savior. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light and let the whole world see We're singing for the glory of a risen King Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see We're singing, we're singing for the glory of a risen King Shine your light and let the whole world see We're singing for the glory of a risen King Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see We're singing for the glory of a risen King Savior, Savior, He can move the mountains my God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty yes, to Jesus. save. Yes, Jesus. Let's just sing that again. Savior, He can move the mountains. Oh, Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty. He's mighty to save. Mighty Let's sing that one more time. Save. Savior, He can move the mountains. Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is 
is mighty to save. Now, author, the author, author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. your name. Oh God. Hallelujah. Come on, praise. Mm, oh, glory to upon me 
Because he has anointed me to preach good news. Take away all of your sorrow and your mourning. To give the oil of joy and a garment. about having these young people and these adults to come and be water baptized. So the first one down today comes from the men's side. If you will send Nehemiah Wilmore down, praise God. If you're part of the Wilmore family, you're welcome. Please just stay out of the way of the cameraman and the photographer. Come on up here as far up as you can get, okay? How you doing? Good. Tell everybody who you are and how old you are. I'm Nehemiah Wilmore and I'm 12 years old. You're 12 years old. And at 12 years old, you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, right? Yes. And why are you doing this today? Um, I just feel like I should because it's the, it's the right thing to do. Amen. You want to say anything to those folks out there? Um, I just want to tell them, well, 
I just want everyone to have a nice day. All right. Everybody have a nice day. You're ready, right? All right. Guys, are you ready? All right. Father, we thank you today for Nehemiah. We thank you that today is his day that he has publicly declared and proclaimed that Jesus Christ is his personal Lord and Savior. And by the authority of the shepherd of this house, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We're going to keep it in the Wilmore family for a little while, right? All right. Hi, Amber. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Tell everybody who you are and how old you are. Uh, my name is Amber Wilmore, and I'm 14 years old. Are you married? No. Are you looking? No. Okay, good. Good answer. How long have you been a Christian? Uh, since I was, um, wait, well, Ever since I could remember, actually. Wow. So you love Jesus? Yes. And you're thankful for him? Yes. Is there anything you want to say to these folks? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. You're just ready, right? All right. If you're ready, let's pray. Father, I thank you that the testimony today of Amber is that she believes that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of her life. And so it is with great honor and great privilege as the shepherd of this house that I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah! Praise God! Praise God! Wow. Are you ready? Yes. Tell everybody who you are. Uh, my name is Innocent. Innocent what? Wilmore. Do you belong to this crew right here? Yes. They're a little proud, aren't they? Very. <laughs> you proud, right? This is, this is the loves of your life, right? Amen. How long have you known Jesus? Uh, as long as I can remember ever since I was... That's a standard Wilmore answer, you know, as long as I can remember. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to tell these folks? Uh, well, thank you all for letting me be part of this church and making me feel like family. Praise God. That's a great testimony. Do you go to his youth group? How is he, okay? Yeah. He's good. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, come on. Hold your nose with one hand and hold your wrist with the other. Father, I thank you for innocence. I thank you that these young lives have made the decisions already to be baptized as a public declaration. And Father, I release the destiny that you have for her, the purposes that you have for her and the fulfillment of being part of a church family that loves her and cares for her because she loves and cares for you. And so, Father, by the authority vested in me as the shepherd of this house, I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. My chains are gone you already been baptized, honey. Wow. Are you all right? Yep, I'm good. Tell everybody who you are. I'm Maya Wilmore. And how old are you? I'm 16. Are you married? No. Are you looking? Nope, not yet. I love the Wilmore girls. You know, I, I understand that their father and their mother told them they couldn't get married till they were 35. And then it's then at 50, they could move out of the house. Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? Is there anything you'd like to tell these folks? 
Well, I, I really enjoy being here with all of you. You're all such great people, everyone that I met, and thank you for making me feel welcomed here. Praise God. And you've been saved as long as you can remember, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? All right. Put your nose up. Father, I thank you right now. I thank you that another a young life has already committed themselves to you, Lord. And that today, Father, as she is baptized, she is sealing by a covenant relationship with you, her destiny in you. And so I thank you today. I have the honor and the privilege of baptizing Maya in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. This is, oh my. Woo. Lord, half the church just came up here. Praise God. Well, you brought the whole rooting section, right? Yes, sir. Tell everybody who you are. My name is Samuel Diaz. And why are you getting water baptized today? Because I believe in Jesus as my Savior. <laughs> Praise God. How long has he been your Savior? For all my life. For as long as you can remember. <laughs> yeah. Pastor Tony, when you gave them instruction, did you tell them all to say, as long as I can remember? That's what you told them? Is there anything you'd like to say to the folks here? I want to thank everybody for being here on my special day. And hold me accountable for what I do. This is a special day. And right now, the Lord is, is here for you, Samuel. This is a new beginning, man. This is a public profession of what you believe. No turning back now. Now you got to do it. And she's up there watching you. And you know that if you don't do it, she'll nag you. You ready? Right, guys. Father, I thank you today that Samuel has made a public decision and a public confession in front of not only the church, but in front of you, in front of all of his family, that God, he is declaring that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of his life. And because that, we have the great honor and privilege today to baptize Samuel in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Praise God! Praise God! Great job, Samuel! Where's Samuel? Let Samuel watch. Watch his wife here. See up there? Ricky, let Samuel watch his wife. Praise God. Come on, step all the way up front. Are you ready? Yes. Tell everybody who you are, Letty. Letty. Letty who? Diaz. And I'm not going to ask you how old you are. How long have you known Christ? Since I can remember. You know, in television, we use uh, prompter cards. And I believe somebody's holding the prompter card up that says, as long as I can remember someplace. Is there anything you'd like to tell these folks? Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for making us feel like we're a family ever since we've been coming here. I mean, it's 17 years on and off, but it's been home every single time we walk into them doors. God. Well, you're part of our family. Amen. You believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior of your life, and you're publicly declaring that today because you love him. Come on, stand up here. Father, I thank you today for Letty. I thank you, God, that today 
a public declaration of who she believes and what she believes and that God, as long as she can remember, she's believed. And so because of that confession of faith, I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You split the sea so I could walk right through it. You rescued me so I could stand and sing. I am a child of God. Wow, look at all these people that are here for you. Is that exciting? Can you tell everybody who you are? I will become a child of God. Amen. But can you, can you tell them what your name is? Robert Malpica. Robert, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old, and you asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life? Yes. And are you ready to be water baptized today? Yes. And when you come out, are you going to spray water all over these people? No. Oh, good answer. All right, are you ready, Robert? All right. Come on, guys. Hold tight. You ready? Father, I thank you. Here's a young little man who's already committed his life to you. Here's a young man whose steps are ordered by you. That, Father, as a child of God, he's now yours, his destiny in your hands. I pray, Father, that the fulfillment of everything that you have for him will be his. Because today, he has taken the bold step of publicly declaring that you are his Lord and Savior. So by the authority of my position as shepherd of this house, I baptize Robert in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. Well, we emptied the church on the first group, and now we got the other half the church coming. Tell everybody who you are. Narisha. Narisha who? Perez. Perez is your last name? This guy's last name is Perez. I know. <laughs> you know him? I know him. That's your dad? Yes. Isn't it so cool that your dad is here with you today? This is her dad, and she, he gets the opportunity of baptizing his own daughters into the fullness of baptism. Is there anything you'd like to say? This is the part you're supposed to say, I love my dad, and I, and I have the most handsome pastor in the world. I love my dad. I have the most handsome pastor in the world. And your pastor loves you a whole lot. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Are you ready to be baptized? Anything else you want to say? And how long have you known Jesus? A long time. Okay. All right. You ready? Praise God. Well, Father, you're bringing the young people to you, the young women, the young men, the children you're bringing to you. And today, Father, a dad has the honor of baptizing his first daughter. And he does that with great joy as we celebrate the baptism of Father, I thank you. She is a dedicated young woman to God, already serving you in various ministries and places. And it is with great pleasure and honor that I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You split the sea so I could walk right through it. Praise God. Come on, just right up here, honey. Can you tell everybody who you are? Anaya Perez. So he must be your dad, too. Yeah. Are you? 
Yeah. But you meant it inside. You meant it like, yeah, he's my dad. It's kind of hard to believe, but she's convinced that, yay, he's my dad. The girl is dancing in the water. She's part of the PIA dance ministry. The girl's in here going. Do you want to say anything to anybody? I love you guys. It's kind of neat that they're all here with you today, isn't it? And it's really special that your dad is in the tank and he's baptizing you. So you got three people here besides the whole family who are really special. You're special too. Your dad, your pastor, and your youth pastor. You can't ask for anything better than that, huh? Are you ready to be baptized? Or do you want to preach it a little bit? No. All right, let's go. Father, we thank you today. Thank you for this young one. Father, also already involved in ministries, in youth, in dance, already offering her gifts and talents to you. And Father, today she's publicly declaring her love for you through her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And because she has made Jesus the Lord and Savior of her life, I have the honor and privilege of baptizing her in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Come on, tell her. I'm no longer Here comes your fan club. You know what? You should probably give them a wave. Tell everybody who you are. Antonio. Antonio who? Jones. And Antonio Jones, how old are you? Twelve. And why are you here today? To accept Jesus in my heart. You already did that, right? Yeah. And now you're just telling everybody you did it. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to any of these folks? Um, I love you all. That was your cue to say, we love you, too. Let's try this again. You ready? Anything you want to say to these folks? I love you. We love you, too. Good job. Are you ready? All right. Father, I thank you for Antonio. I thank you that today he has publicly declared his love for you. He's received you as his personal Lord and Savior, and today he wants to publicly acknowledge that, that he has made covenant with you. At his age, Father, he has a great future and destiny because you have deemed him a son of the living God. And so it is with great honor and privilege I baptize him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come live in me. Woo! Oh, praise God. God. Praise God. That's your groupies. <laughs> did you know you had groupies? Um, yeah. You did know you had them? Mm-hmm. How old are you? I'm 10. You're 10 and you got groupies already? Yeah. I'm 73, and I don't have a, a groupie. Wow. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. I got to get some help, huh? No. Can you tell everybody who you are? Um, I'm Alexander Jones. And Alexander, who are all these folks? Um, my family. And I think they love you to be here for you. I love you all. Are you ready? Anything else you want to say? All right, let's do it, right? Stand up here.
Father, I thank you that this is a day that he publicly declares to family and friends and the family of God that, Lord, as he declares that he has accepted Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior, I count it a great honor and privilege to baptize him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come live in me on eagle's I thought you were talking about his shirt. Praise God. Tell everybody who you are. I'm Trinity Jagdeo. And Trinity, how old are you? 16, sorry. You know what's really cool? This young lady this week was inducted into the National Honor Society. That's quite an honor. And she received that this week, and now she's culminating the week with being baptized because she believes and accepted Jesus Christ. Is there anything? Huh? Yeah. Yep, she was baptized in the Holy Ghost also, right? Is there anything you want to tell them? Um... I'm trying not to. <laughs> um, don't. Life can take you on a ride at any moment, and it's better to take a ride with Jesus than without Him. So, Amen. don't miss out. Don't miss out on the opportunity of knowing God, because walking with God, you can get through life. A lot of teenagers go through life without God, and they're often confused and they're often broken. But He's the ultimate person that can help you get through life. So. Wow. You know, God's got something very special for you. He does honor you. What do you think it is? But that's okay. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? You know why? Because it's in you. It's in your very life. I think it is too. I think that you have a great influence on young people. And that if you use your life to be a testimony of what your mouth says, then you will influence and help a lot of young people. And so when I baptize you today, I'm going to pray that you fulfill that destiny. Father, I thank you for Trinity. I thank you, God. She's already setting the bar to influence other kids. That, God, she's already being used by you to testify of the glorious life you can have when you follow Jesus. And I thank you today that Trinity is a living example of a life dedicated and sold out to you and that you may use her gifts and talents. And Father, I call her destiny into existence. And then this day, as she publicly declares who she is in you through the outward profession of water baptism, I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. God! Oh, come live. Did you kick somebody? No. What happened to you? Uh, I went roller skating at the youth thingy. And she went roller skating at youth night, and it was his fault. <laughs> no, it wasn't. What happened? I fell backwards and sprained my ankle. Oh, my goodness. Did he come and run right over to you and take care of you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you, would you make an appointment with me and see me this week? <laughs> Are you okay now? Yeah. It's just a sprain. Yeah. Thank goodness you didn't kick him and got a sprain. 
Praise God. Would you tell everybody who you are? My name is Samara. And Samara, how old are you? I'm 12. And where do you go to school? Uh, I'm homeschooled. You're homeschooled. Well, that's good. Do you like homeschooling? Yeah. Yeah. Who teaches you? Uh, a lot of teachers. I don't know. <laughs> it's on like Okay, it's oh, it's online, so a lot of teachers that you don't know. So when I ask you how long you've known Jesus, you're probably going to tell me for as long as I can remember, right? Okay, how long have you known Jesus? For as long as I can remember. <laughs> All right, are you ready? By the way, Trinity is her sister. Her mom and dad are the next two coming down to be water baptized. So today, this is an experience for their entire family. Praise God. Are you ready, honey? All right. Hold your nose and hold your fist with the other hand. Father, I thank you. I thank you for this young life, 12 years old and already dedicated to declare that Jesus Christ is her personal Lord and Savior. God, my heart leaps with joy that, God, she has made the decision to publicly profess that she is in love with Jesus and has a covenant relationship as a child of the living God. So it is with great honor and joy and privilege that I baptize her today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come on, step up. Yeah. <laughs> Tell everybody who you are, man. I'm Derek Morrison. And who is the two girls? They're my daughters. This is dad. This is dad of the two girls that just got baptized. And in just a moment, his wife is coming down, and she's going to get baptized. So tell everybody anything you want to tell them. you got two minutes. No preaching. I'm, keep, I'm keeping the whole two minutes? No. I just wanted to take today to unify and strengthen our bond as a family and, uh, you know, kind of a ha-ha to the devil. And I wanted to make sure I came and showed my support, even though I'm usually at my facility. But I'm always here in spirit, even if you guys don't see me. And I wanted to make sure my daughters and my wife knew that as well. So that's why we're here today. It was actually Sam's idea. Sam's idea? Samara's idea. Wow. So it was Sam's idea. To initially get baptized. Our kids will move our hearts to do anything, won't they? It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, man. Are you ready? All right. Father, I thank you for Derek, the dad of these two beautiful, uh, of these two beautiful girls who have been baptized. And now, Father, here's the littlest one, who's sound asleep and doesn't really care what's going on, but is here in spirit, as her dad and her mom and her sisters are baptized. And so, Father, I thank you because of the profession of faith that Derek has in the Lord Jesus Christ that I baptized him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My heart and my soul. All right, praise God. We want to tell you a story. Go ahead, tell her. You want me to tell another one? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, my daughter here, uh, when we were, when I was pregnant with her, uh, we had received a diagnosis of um, a very fatal uh, illness called fetal high drops. Uh, the doctor had seen that she had had a lot of fluid in her stomach, um, around her heart, around her head, her liver. Um, there was something wrong with her liver and something wrong with her bowel as well. Uh, and I came to church here and I got prayed over. The Lord healed me that day in church. And the next couple of days later, when we went to go get an ultrasound done, everything had been healed. Everything on the ultrasound was completely normal. The doctors were amazed because she looked like a completely healthy baby. 
And right here is the testimony and the evidence of that. And I'm talking about the proud grandmother. Here's the real testimony right here. Praise God. Well, what an exciting day for you. Yes. Angela, you just had your whole family, with the exception of the littlest one, baptized today. What is, how does that feel? It feels amazing to have us all here and do this together to unify us through God. Pretty cool, isn't it? If you don't believe that God's alive, all you got to do is look at this. Amen? Because this is living proof, testimony. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the folks? I just wanted to say the reason why I chose to do this is because not only the, the healing of my daughter, God has done some really amazing things in my life over the years. And so I wanted to make sure that I did this to honor him and to further strengthen my faith and my family. Amen. You ready then? Hold your nose. Father, I thank you for Angela and her entire family. I thank you, God, for the miraculous healing and miracle you did in that little child, that you've healed her and her mom, and that you've united the family together today. And because Angela believes that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of her life, it gives me great honor and privilege to baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wow. Are you ready for this? Yes. Is there anything God can't do? Give me um, the... Um... No? The answer is no. <laughs> You were thinking about Christmas, weren't you? He was thinking about the big gift that he wanted for Christmas, and he wasn't sure God was able to do that for him, right? Can you tell everybody what your name is? Josiah. And how old are you? Ten. Are you ready to be baptized? Yes. Good answer. Your dad's there, your mom and your sister's over there. They're watching you. Boy, your eyes are sparkling. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready? Hold, hold your wrist tight. Breathe until we tell you it's okay. And then, then keep breathing. And then we'll tell you when to hold your next breath, okay? Okay. Father, I thank you for Josiah. I thank you today. They're 10 years old. He's ready to commit his life and dedicate it to you for your glory in his life. Father, use this young man in ways that he never expected. Bless him. Multiply that which you've given to him. And I thank you today that by his choice, it's my honor and my privilege to baptize him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Your good, good father. That's your boy, it's man. You are. Praise God. It's who you are. It's who I am. This is Josiah's dad, Will. Will, how are you doing today? I'm blessed and highly favored. He's blessed and highly favored. You know if I give him the mic, he's going to preach, right? <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold the mic, and if he starts preaching, I'm going to go like this. Will, why are you doing this today, man? This is a, this is a testament. Um, from last week, the Holy Spirit began to deal with me, and he was telling me, showing me how fear was gripping the people in the congregation. He said, some are ankle deep, some are knee deep. But he said, today, I want this to be a testament of being submerged. We've got to be submerged in order to go forward in God. That's what he's telling me. Amen. Well, today, we're going to baptize you. You ready for this? Is there any fear of being dunked down? Okay. Uh, okay. You're a warden? A warrior? Good. We're going to see how much of a warrior you, you are. Okay, guys. Guys, this is the ones that we're going to hold under longer, okay? 
praise God. Other hand. Father, I thank you for Will that today his decision is to be baptized, to stand as a living example, to overcome all fears and worries and doubts. And by his profession of faith that Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior, I baptize him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Your good, good Father. Praise God. Praise God. It's who you are. Look who's standing there, Grandmom and Grandpa. Is that Grandmom and Grandpa right there? Are you a little nervous? You're ready for this? Yes. Could you tell everybody who you are? Anna. And how old are you? Seven. Wow. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Do you like boys? No. Do they have cooties? No. Who said that out there? Make an appointment to see me after the service today. Are you ready to be baptized? Did you make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life? Yes. You've accepted him? Yes. And you want to follow after him? Yes. And so you're doing this because that's what he wants his children to do, right? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Do you want to say anything to anybody? No. You're just ready, right? Okay, let's do it. Father, I thank you that today another child of God is publicly declaring that she is your child. And so I thank you today, Father, that it is my honor and my privilege to baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. When people come down the steps, I get nervous because it gets really slippery. And I'm short. <laughs> no, you may be short on the outside like me, girl, but on the inside, we're 10 foot 5. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mom and dad are here? Yes. <laughs> come in. Where did they come from? Bridgeton. Ghoul Town. Wow, they made a long trek here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Praise God. It's exciting to have your parents here, isn't it? My brother couldn't come because he's in San Antonio, Texas. What's he doing in San Antonio, Texas? That's where he lives. I'm going to go visit him. You can. It's a beautiful state. And he can make me some chicken and some collard greens and some sweet potatoes. And maybe the, oh, he's not a cooker, huh? Uh, forget it. I ain't going to visit him. Tell us why you're being baptized today. Because I love the Lord, and I want to serve him, and I want to do what he requires us to do as Christians. What do you think he wants you to do? Live holy, love him with all our heart, and continue to serve him. Amen. Is there anything else you want your husband preached? Do you want to preach too? <laughs> no. You're ready. And now when I ask you how long you've known the Lord, are you going to tell me for as long as I can remember, or are you going to give me a... I know it's over maybe 15 years. 15, 15 years. Praise God. She's been serving God for 15 years. How great is that? Praise God. Anything else you'd like to say to him? I love you, Jesus. Amen. If you're ready, let's baptize you, okay? Father, I thank you for Anna today. I thank you, God, that as she has participated with the rest of her family, today she is publicly declaring her own personal relationship with you. And so I thank you today that by the authority that you have given me as the shepherd of this house, I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You 
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Tell everybody who you are. Jose Torres. Are you related to her? Yes, she's my niece. She's your niece. And all the rest of the family are here, and they're supporting you today. Hallelujah. Yep. And you're doing this because you've made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Always, forever. And how long have you been serving him? Uh, since North Jersey. Since North Jersey. That's a new one. Uh, I, I've heard 15 years and as long as I can remember, but he's, he's been, he's been serving her, him, him since North Jersey. Hi buddy. <laughs> since you were a kid. So in other words, as long as you can remember, I remember. Yes. you ready to be baptized? My teacher. Yeah. All right. Ready? Go take it. Yeah, hold your nose and hold your wrist with your other hand. There you go. All right, you ready? Father, I thank you right now that for as long as he can remember and since North Jersey, he is being baptized today because he has proclaimed and he has accepted and he believes that Jesus is the Son of God and that today he publicly declares his allegiance and his covenant with you. Because of that, I baptize him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are perfect in all of your ways. You praise are God. perfect in all of your ways. Praise God, praise God. You are perfect in all of your ways. To, to Come on, stand up to your feet with us, would you? Hi, this is Pastor Myers. I wanted to let you know our church family would love to have you join us here in the sanctuary for one of our weekly services. Every Sunday morning, we have dynamic worship, powerful preaching, an awesome children's church, and we see the power of God as he ministers to his family. Those services begin at 11 a.m. Then on Wednesday nights, we have ministries for the entire family. We have adult worship and Bible study, Royal Rangers for the boys and G3 for the girls. It's a night packed with the presence and power of God, and it happens at 7.15 every Wednesday evening. If you'd like more information about New Life Church, you can go to our website at newlifeoutreach.org. There you'll find all the information you need to be part of a great church. Well, until our family meets your family on our next broadcast, may God richly bless you and yours.